All right, everyone, welcome to this weekend sidereal astrology forecast. This is for January 5th through the 7th of 2018. And this video is for sidereal astrology. If you are new to the channel, be sure to check out that link down below. We're using the actual size of the constellations, which does change the signs from mainstream astrology. All right, so a lot going on this weekend, ladies and gentlemen. We have the moon in Leo Friday and Saturday, which could make it a good couple days for having some fun. Uh, expressing ourself, getting into our creative side. Uh, we do have Mars conjunct up to Jupiter here this weekend. They've been getting closer to each other this week, which means this heightened confidence, perhaps, or maybe a heightened inspiration in your life that you may want to implement. Mercury is trining up to Uranus for the third and final time since his retrograde, giving this uh, a good weekend for spontaneity, trying some new and different things, but maybe specifically to implement some healing that we've been doing since December uh, with Mercury now going over the galactic center on Sunday. All right, we also have Venus getting closer to the sun, maybe putting more focus on relationships. So a lot going on. So let's look at all this here in more detail when we return. All right, let's break this down one day at a time here. Let's start with Friday with the moon very well set in Leo here, probably wanting to express ourselves, tap into that lighter, playful side of ourself, and just want to have, yeah, some fun, uh, create, really good for that um, sort of passion and, and uh, entertainment and things like that in our life. So in terms of Friday's aspects, uh, nothing going exact in terms of the major aspects. Uh, we could be feeling perhaps a bit grounded on Friday with the moon trining Saturn, but we will be feeling this Jupiter conjunct, our Mars conjunct Jupiter here going exact on Saturday. So definitely increasing as we approach Saturday, and this is that bit of uh, confidence or inspiration, right? We have Mars, the planet of our drive, Jupiter, the planet of possibilities. And so when these two combine, there can be that heightened sense of independence that we can assert ourselves. We can go after the things we want. Uh, we have a bit of that um, you know, heightened sense of inspiration in terms of what's possible. So really good to implement this. You know, this only happens once every three years. Usually really good to maybe do some things that we otherwise maybe wouldn't do had we not had that heightened sense of confidence, um, self-awareness, independence, and inspiration. So a uh, great uh, new beginning with this. We'll probably notice this weekend a new beginning with this side of ourself about the power of um, manifestation, the power of ambition and drive. Uh, this is happening in Libra. So the way we're likely going about this will be maybe through relationships. Maybe there's some inspiration there, something motivating there or partnerships or agreements in your life. But fundamentally, it will be, I think, through this tact and reciprocity that I think um, is how we're asserting ourselves right now and what we're going to be learning a lot about uh, through 2018 with Jupiter and Libra and perhaps even seeing some opportunities there on the uh, relationship or partnership front. All right, so that's uh, the most important thing this uh, weekend is that conjunction. So um, on a Saturday when it does go exact, the moon will still be in Leo, finishing up that constellation again. Great day for that self-expression. And then as we um, uh, get into most of the day on Saturday, Mercury does trine up to Uranus. So everything's kind of concentrated here mid-weekend. Um, so this one is the third and final aspect. We've had this going on through December, through Mercury's retrograde. And uh, this is about change and spontaneity, right? And so Mercury, the planet of our mind, is now in good harmony to Uranus, which is about eccentricity, uniqueness, thinking outside the box, trying new and different things. So with this heightened sense of fire with Mars and Jupiter, there could also be this heightened sense of intellect or of the mind or of perspective. There could be some new ideas. Uh, it could be, again, a great day for mixing up that routine through new ideas. And where a lot of this is taking place is in the water uh, areas of the chart, though, um, especially with Mercury. Mercury has been transiting through a fucus, went retrograde all the way through Scorpio, has been direct, still in those water signs. So what's making this significant this weekend, however, is that Mercury is going over the galactic center on Sunday. 
So going into next week, there is this now final transformation, I feel like, with a lot of the stuff that we've been thinking about regarding healing, right? Reg regarding where we can have more acceptance in our life, regarding what we may need to let go of. So that's been uh, really the theme in December with all that retrograde energy in these uh, very deep signs. And so now it's the final uh, integration of this. All right. So especially on Sunday, maybe a sort of transformation with the mind, with our perspective um, and with some final healing, perhaps that we, that we may want to start to finalize and implement going into next week. All right, but the trine up to Uranus does give us a bit of that more uh, lighter side to it. And maybe again, some new ideas, spontaneity, all of that stuff can be great. Uh, Mercury will be squaring up to Chiron again, just like Ophiuchus, suggesting maybe there are some things that we are finalizing regarding healing that we may want to take some action towards. And then by taking action in the face of any wounds that do come up, you know, implementing them, uh, we can feel healed and rejuvenated. All right, but the trying to Uranus will take the forefront with that. All right, so uh, yeah, that's Saturday. Pretty much uh, the moon is going to be forming some minor aspects to a lot of what we're talking about. Sex dialing up to Mars and Jupiter, really adding to that boost actually, and um, trining up to Venus and the sun actually. So not going exact this weekend, but going into next week, we will probably start to notice a bit more of this focus on uh, relationships in general with Venus getting closer to the sun. There will be a new chapter on relationships next week, uh, but probably noticing a little bit more focus into this area. All right, so we can be passionate and expressive in those relationships, can be a lot of energy behind those relationships, increasing as we go into next week. And so I think just uh, remembering to stay nice and balanced with the relationship stuff, uh, to stay reciprocating, um, you know, focusing on others' needs and our needs, that balance, and uh, rem remembering consideration and stuff. And the reason is, is that when Venus goes behind the sun, it's considered combust and the sun takes the dominant energy. So the passion, the fire, take the dominant energy over the relationship or our values. So good to bring that extra conscious attention to uh, the reciprocating you know, relationship stuff to keep it nice and balanced. Not to mention both of these planets, while they can join, are gonna be conjoining Pluto next week. So there is this whole powerful transformation about our belief systems regarding relationships, but also regarding life in general with all of this in Sagittarius. So that'll be all next week, but I just wanna give you a bit of a heads up with that probably this week and more of a focus on the relationship stuff. And yeah, maybe there are some things that uh, we are transforming or letting go of um, that can free us up, right? We can be more non-attached with, especially with Mercury going over the galactic center on Sunday. All right, so, uh, so that's the weekend in a nutshell. The moon will be in Virgo on Sunday, so it could be a good day for starting to see where we might want to improve things. Um, could be feeling a bit perfectionistic, uh, refined, wanting to fix things, improve things. So it could be a good day for that, especially as we get into Monday and Tuesday of next week, uh, working with a bit of that pragmatic energy. Um, but as we get into Monday as well, the sun does sextile Jupiter, so there is a bit of uh, that inspiration with our self-expression which could be quite nice on a minor note. All right, so all that, it's a mouthful. There's a lot going on this weekend. The way I would simplify this is the two major aspects we got going on. Mars over Jupiter will definitely be the, I think, strongest energy, which is this fire energy of, again, that inspiration or confidence that we can implement and a new chapter with this, understanding about ourself and the importance of taking action and initiative and all of this and, and opening our horizons to our belief systems, you know, opening our belief systems to what's possible. So with that Mercury trining Uranus also gives it a good spont spontaneity about the weekend, thinking outside the box, trying new things and maybe gaining some insight about healing and maybe doing some of that final healing. All right, all with the moon in Leo, Friday, Saturday, good for that creative life force, self-expressive energy and then Sunday getting into the more pragmatic, detail-oriented side of ourself. All right, so a fantastic weekend, everyone. Thank you again for watching and all of your support with the channel. Uh, so I'll see you all on Monday for the daily forecast. Take care.